thousand. The power number three in the figure below A, B, C, D, E is a rectangular pentagon and M is the midpoint of A, B. So we have M there. D, M, uh, we have D, M intersect E, B at N. So we have our diagram here. Uh, the question is find the size of angle B, A, E. B, A, E. B, A, E is this angle. So since this is a regular pentagon, uh, we know the uh, interior angle of a pentagon is 108. Or if we take uh, 360 degrees, we divide by 5, uh, we get that is 72 degrees. Uh, so 180 minus 72 uh, degrees, that gives you 108. So 108. So angle, uh, we say that angle uh, BAE is equals to 108 degrees. So that is the first question. Uh, we find angle BED. BED is this angle. Now, since this is a regular pentagon, uh, it means that the sides are equal. That is AB is equals to uh, AE. Therefore, it forms a isosceles triangle. And since we have this angle is 108, it means the base angles are 72. You divide by 2. Uh, you divide by 2, uh, you get uh, that the 6. Uh, so this angle here is 36 degrees. Now, that uh, from there, we have... Uh, we have uh, this angle. If this angle is 36, then it means that uh, since angle AED is 108, it means angle uh, A, that is angle, that is uh, angle B, E, D is equals to 108 degrees minus 36, and that should give you 72 degrees so that's the second angle that is the first angle then finally we have b n m so we are required to get that angle so that angle we already got this angle since it's an isosceles triangle this angle is at 36 degrees uh this angle because it's this is a a, a perpendicular bisector that angle is 90. if you add 36 degrees plus 90 you get it is equals to 126 degrees so angle angle b n m is equals to 180 minus uh, 126 and that should give you uh, 54 degrees so that is a third angle and you get yourself three marks